हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू अगेन इन माय कोर्स ऑन नॉन कन्वेंशनल मशीनिंग आई एम ऋषभ उसफल दिस इज अबाउट मी प्लीज डू माय वॉच माय प्रीवियस टू वीडियोस व्हिच आई हैव क्रिएटेड ऑन अल्ट्रासोनिक मशीनिंग एंड इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल मशीनिंग एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो यूजफुल प्लीज शेयर लाइक एंड कमेंट एंड I am creating this video series for GATE and IAS aspirants. Now both these exams are almost there; they are approaching very fast. So please do watch this video series and get the concept clear about non-conventional machining methods. So let us begin our third process, that is water jet machining, abbreviated as WJM. now let me use the marker so that it will be easy so this is the complete setup for abrasive water jet machining now you can see here uh, various component important one is sapphire nozzle okay then this is water which is coming out through this nozzle and it is impinging or falls on this work piece okay these are various terminologies generally used that is stand off distance okay then this is jet velocity and jet diameter now how the machining takes place okay so you can see here the wear picture of water jet machining just for your understanding now let us see how this mechanism takes place now when very high pressure water is passing through this convergent nozzle the pressure energy of water gets converted into velocity energy okay so the water which is coming out through this nozzle is at very high velocity that is almost 200 to 400 meter per second that means in this or through this nozzle pressure energy that is almost 150 to 4000 megapascal that much pressure energy is converted into the velocity energy and what is the range of velocity which is coming out through this nozzle is 200 to 400 meter per second now when this high velocity water impinging or falls on this work piece the impact load is acting on the work piece which induces plastic deformation and failure of this work piece so the mechanism of chip formation or mechanism of material removal in water jet machining is what plastic deformation and fracture okay it's what plastic deformation and fracture so whatever till i have explained i have written over here you can go through it once okay so the mechanism of material removal this is important that is what plastic deformation and fracture now let us see other things about water jet machining so the tool material we have seen that is the nozzle is only the tool it's a made up of sapphire or we can say tungsten carbide then second parameter is wear ratio we have seen what is wear ratio it is the volume of material removal from the work piece divided by volume of material removal to the tool okay from the tool so as here volume of material removal from the tool is almost negligible so the ratio if we get it it's infinity okay so you have to remember wear ratio in water jet machining is infinity now medium under which material removal takes place is what water right so these are the parameters here to remember about water jet machining now what are the advantages of this first advantage is it is used mainly for soft material okay we will see why we cannot use it for harder material in disadvantage so you have to remember that the water jet machining is mostly used is mainly used for soft material like rubber Now what is the disadvantages? First disadvantage is pressurizing of water itself is very difficult. 
okay if you want to pressurize water to almost 2000 to 3000 mega pascal it is very difficult now second disadvantage is it we cannot use this process for hard work basis the reason is the impact load which are produced by water particle is not sufficient to produce plastic deformation and work piece that's why this process cannot be used for hard work pieces you have to remember now what is the application of this as i told you this is used for the cutting of soft material like rubber okay so this is about water jet machining we will quickly go through this so first we have seen what is the principle of material removal in water jet machining is plastic deformation and fracture in water jet machining pressure energy is converted into a very high velocity okay through or by using nozzle the velocity by which water is coming out through nozzle is 200 to 400 meter per second then we have seen tool material is tungsten carbide then third thing what is wear ratio in water jet machining it is infinity okay then we have seen medium under which this process is carried out is water then advantages and application is what it is used for cutting of soft material like rubber and the major thing why this process cannot be used for hard work process the reason is the impact load which are produced by the water particle is not sufficient to produce plastic deformation in hard work process okay now how we can overcome this disadvantages so this gives rise to the evolution of new process that is abrasive water jet machining okay so let us quickly go through the setup so again this is what nozzle then through the nozzle instead of only water now here high velocity abrasive gas jet is passed that is velocity is again 150 or 200 to 300 meter per second this is the stand off distance that is distance between the nozzle and the work piece it is almost 0.5 to 15 mm and diameter of these abrasive particles okay it is what 0.2 to 0.8 mm now why this process has been evolved now we have seen the second disadvantage is in water jet machining so to overcome second disadvantages of water jet machining that is for machining of hard work pieces abrasive particles will be added into the water these are the various abrasive particles okay these are the various abrasive particles which have been added into the water the reason is so that abrasive particles which are coming out through this nozzle with high velocity and when this abrasive particle will be impinging on this work pieces it is possible to produce what plastic deformation and fracture even in hard work pieces okay so if you want to do the machining of hard work pieces then you can use this abrasive water jet machine okay and from where this process has been evolved because water jet machining we cannot use it for hard work pieces we have to go for abrasive water jet machining so whatever things we have seen i have just written over here you can quickly go through these two points okay this process is used for hard material now the major application of water jet machining is cutting of granite and marble into the complex shape these are what hard work pieces granite or marble so for cutting of granite and marble you can go for abrasive water jet machining instead of only water jet machining okay so these are two important methods okay the first water jet machining we have seen it is used for cutting of soft material and second process abrasive water jet machining it is used for cutting of hard work pieces like granite and marble in both the cases in both the processes the mechanism of material removal is what plastic deformation and 
fracture okay so this thing you have to remember you will get some object type question that what it is the mechanism then which process is used for soft material which can be used for cutting of granite what is the wear ratio in water jet machining so such type of question we will see in the last which have been asked in previous gate and ias question so this is all about water jet machining and abrasive water jet machining now if you have still any question you can post it below here and again i am repeating i am creating this video series taking into consideration that you have some knowledge of non conventional machining methods i am creating this videos mainly for gate and ias students okay thank you